Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very chill, like I want you guys to literally be sitting there in your home or wherever you at, you're you at in like your pajamas and chips. Like I just want it to be like super chill and comfortable. I think it's really cool to do these videos once in a while to just kind of sit down and chat and hang out with you guys for a little bit. If you watch my vlogs, I upload a weekly vlog every single Monday. You guys know that I'm very raw. I just tell you how it is and I keep it very, very raw and real with you guys so I wanted to sit down and kind of do my makeup and I realized I've never shown you guys how I do like my 20 minute makeup like when I have I don't have a lot of time and I have to go somewhere this is like literally what I do it's still very polished very put together and very pretty but it doesn't take you like the full-on like hour to two hours that a lot of my other makeup tutorials usually take um, and I also think it's really cool that I don't have to like do my setup and like put on pretty lights and have like a pretty background and stuff. I want it to be, you know, cause this is like, the, I'm a normal person at the end of the day and I just literally sit in my messy room and do my makeup. So um, I think it's good for us to kind of hang out and like see what's up in each other's lives. So make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what's going on in your life. I love reading your comments and replying to some of them. So make sure you do that and let's get started cause I actually have to meet friends in a little bit and and um, ignore the background, everything's in boxes because I'm in the middle of like donating and organizing and my ring light just broke the other day. So I'm pretty sad about it, but let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is going with Wanderlush. This is the moisturizer that I created with Ofra Cosmetics. It just launched on Monday, so you can still get it right now at OfraCosmetics.com. Um, I will list everything down in the description bar for you guys so you know what to do. There's also a discount code so you can get 30% off, which is awesome. For every container that we sell, uh, $2 will be donated to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is one of my favorite parts about this collaboration. Thank you so much to everybody who has purchased it. Purchased it. It means, it means so much to me to have your support. This moisturizer is not only super hydrating for a day or night cream, but it is also a primer. So it really locks in your makeup all day and makes the application process extremely smooth. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys something else that I'll be using today that I'm really, really obsessed with. This is what it's called. I had to put everything back in its like proper compartment because I had it like all messed up in like a little cup. But this is what um, the brush set that I've been using lately and I've been really, really in love with it. This is the Vanity Planet um, brush palette. And you guys, it is so cool. It's originally $100, but there is a discount code that you can use. I will put it somewhere on the screen here for you because I don't know what it is. And it takes 70 to 75% off. So you get this baby for for $30. So for $30, you get 15 brushes, which is so, so cool. And these brushes are so soft. This one's my favorite. It's the Kabuki. I always pop this into, oh, I have my makeup bag next to me. I always pop this into my makeup bag whenever I travel because it's super convenient or like in my purse and stuff. But this is the, um, the brush set that I'll be using today. I definitely recommend this to you guys. I've been really into brush sets lately because I find that they're really, really convenient. Um, a lot of the time in like my makeup tutorials that are more like in depth and more of like, looks that you can do for like events or whatever it may be. Um, I use a lot of different brushes and sometimes when you have to spend money on each individual brush, it kind of adds up to be a lot and that I completely understand. So I've been really into sets because I'm trying to find like ways for you guys to kind of like build your brush collection without spending a lot of money. And this one from Vanity Planet, I really do recommend. So I'm super impressed, like they're so soft. So that's what I'll be using today in this video. If you need to know any more information or wanna give this baby a try, which you should, I think it's really, really good to have this in your collection. Especially if you're like a beginner, don't buy individual brushes unless like, I mean, unless you like know that's the one you want. Start out with like a set so you really can play around with things and be more familiar with what brush is used for what item. But I will leave the website down below for you guys to get this brush set. Again, it's like 70% off, so you only get it for $30 for 15 brushes. That is such an amazing deal. Since I'm feeling extra dry, I'm gonna go in with my Maro Badasco Skincare Facial Spray. 
And this literally smells like roses and it just gives your uh, face that extra moisture that you need. Oh, I love the way it smells. Um, For foundation today, I don't really know what I want to use. I, I don't know if I've ever shown this on camera, but I do have these LC um, foundations right here. They're really, really liquidy though. That's the only thing I don't like about them. And if you like, if you need full coverage, um, they're not really like that great for full coverage. So I like don't recommend this for people who like full coverage because it's really, really sheer. I like can't find my Giorgio Armani foundation, you guys. That's not good. Oh, there it is. I think for today, I'm gonna use my um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation just because I'm feeling a little bit dry and I kind of want a foundation that's gonna give me moisture, you know? I'm just gonna do like two pumps and um, dot this on my skin. I love this foundation. It's really, really nice if you have like super dry skin. And then I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and and kind of um, buff that in. I don't know if you guys can see me, if it looks too bright. There we go. I think that's like a little bit better, right? So usually when I do this um, routine, it takes me like top 20 minutes, but obviously since I'm talking in this tutorial, it might take me a little bit longer. I am so hungry. My stomach is literally growling. So if you hear like, an alien talking in the background, it's my stomach. But I love this foundation. It is a little bit expensive. If you know me, you know I'm not really into expensive things. This is a little bit expensive to be honest, but it's really good. I wanted to try the powder, but they didn't have it in my color. I can't believe it's 2017. That's so crazy. 2017 is gonna be a really good year, you guys. I'm really, I'm really optimistic about it. I think it's gonna be a really, really good year. I'm not wearing contacts today told you I wanted to keep it real chill. <laughs> Literally, I like I don't wear contacts unless I have like a special event to go to or I'm like I really feel like it that day. I actually don't even wear makeup that much to be honest with you guys. Like I wear makeup like one out of the 7 days in the week. So on days that I'm in a hurry, my main focus is to even out my skin tone. Make sure there's no redness. Everything is just one base color. And after that, I like to go straight in with powder. I skip the whole concealing, highlighting part because I honestly don't have time for that. And I feel like as long as you kind of like even everything out, you're pretty good. Unless you're trying to tell me that you have really dark um, under eye circles, then I do recommend a little bit of concealer, which should be pretty fast to blend out with the beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna set my face with the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder, which I am pretty obsessed with. I'm pretty sure I'm almost hitting pan, and that's like really, really intense. I'm gonna go in with the Vanity Planet brush set and take this one. Um, I've noticed in the past few uh, weeks that I've been using this, they don't have um, names on the brushes, so. I don't know which one is which, but I'm gonna take this one and just use it to set my whole face. And I love this because it's really soft and it does pack product on, but at the same time, it's like really flexible and flimsy. So it's not too, too harsh on the face. I also like to go in with the Kabuki that's also in the set and take a little bit of this. And I like to use this to brush under the eye area because it's more, it's more fluffy. And honestly, like after this step, I already feel like way more put together. Like if I really wanted to, I could leave the house right now. Now I'm gonna go in with a bronze color and this is gonna like warm up the face a little bit, give our face a little bit of a warmth. Um, we're not really contouring, we don't got time for that. Um, I'm using the Milani Cosmetics Bronzer XL All Over Glow. It's this one right here. And it is the number one bronze glow. It has two sides, one is a matte and one has like a really light shimmer. Again, I'm gonna go in the brush set and take this one, which is a really nice, soft and fluffy brush. And that's gonna make it super easy to kind of bronze. Or you can use this as powder too. Again, these brushes can be really um, convenient because you can dupe them for any task that you need, which is one thing that I love because I love affordability and I love convenience. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of bro both sides right here and bronze up my face. So usually you know that I'm all about highlighting. You guys know that by now. I'm obsessed with highlighting. For, for days that are pretty natural, I don't go in with an intense highlight. Um, I do a little bit so there's like a little bit of a shine but not that much. 
So in the palette, or not in the palette, in the set, there's actually a highlighting brush, which is like, my God, there's a highlighting brush. If there was not a highlighting brush in this, the sets that I've been like trying out, I honestly would not recommend the set to you guys because highlighting is severely important to me. By the way, if you know any good brush sets, leave a comment down below and let me know because I am all about them right now because I'm, again, I'm trying to like recommend really, really good brush sets to you guys. So just let me know in the comments down below. But I'm gonna use this fan brush and take the Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills um, highlighting wheel, which has like multiple colors. So it literally will match every single skin tone. I love this. Um, I do have a discount code for Ofra Cosmetics. It's 30% off, duh. Water Lush was created with Ofra Cosmetics. <laughs> I will leave it down below for you guys in the description bar. But I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush and literally just, I'm gonna gently, you guys, like gently. And I love this brush for it because it's a very skinny and gentle brush. So it's not like, it's not really a highlight. It's more of like a skin, like a very natural glow. It's not like, overwhelming you know like the girls on instagram that have like intense highlight aka me sometimes it's not like that it's just a very nice natural everyday glow oh that's really pretty and i like how skinny this is been really liking this for natural days honestly you guys this is so so easy i can't believe i've never filmed this before um and then next we're gonna do blush and I love, love blushes, you guys know that. Sometimes I go a little heavy handed, which is like not good. For blush today, I'm gonna be going in with the L'Oreal True Match C56 Rosy Outlook. It's this very pretty True Match blush color. It's like a baby mauve pink shade. And I'm gonna take the angle brush from the set. This is not a matte color, by the way. It has a little bit of a satin to it. So if you are someone who has texture on your face, um, and does not feel comfortable with kind of like a glow on your cheeks because of the texture. I don't recommend these blushes. I would recommend you guys to stay with a more matte color. Since we are not doing a lot to our face, everything's very settled, we're able to do a little bit of a satin kind of finish to our cheeks. I love this one. Again, very affordable, very pretty by the way. Like it's a super stunning color. Great for every single day use. Now I'm just gonna go back in with that kabuki and blend everything out. Another great thing I love about um, brush sets lately, I know, I've, I'm just on like a brush set rant today, is that it's easy to travel with. Everything you need is in one. Sometimes they come in these like really pretty containers here, but this one comes in a really nice package, which I really like. I definitely want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you know any other good ones, because I, I'm really, I've been really into them lately. It's become like an obsession. For the brows today, I'm gonna go with my favorite brow pencil ever. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm in the color six. Now, one of these, one of the things that um, I really wish Benefit would do is make a darker color, because I feel like six is not dark enough for some people. But I mean, I like it. It's not like something that I'm too serious about. And I'm gonna brush it over with the Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is in medium deep. Love, love Benefit's brow stuff. They are one of my favorites. Um, Benefit and Anastasia have my favorite brow stuff. But this Precisely Brow Pencil, you guys, is so amazing. I love it because it's very, like it said, it's very precise. It gives you very natural hair-like strokes so your brows aren't too harsh. You know that in my other makeup tutorials, I tend to do very, very, very harsh brows. And I know that that is not everybody's cup of tea. And also, personally for me, I don't have time to do those very sharp cut brows every single day. So I love having a very nice um, brow pencil to use. So with this brow pencil, I'm literally just following the strokes of my natural hair brow and filling in the sparse areas. So I start in the middle and kind of follow my hair my natural hair and fill in those sparse kind of empty areas. Now the hardest thing with my brows is I don't have a tail, so I kind of have to make my own and that's always the more difficult part. But for now with a very light hand, we're just gonna fill in the inner corners and make them look more full. And it also comes with a spoolie on the other side, so we can use this too. 
blend the products together. I have really fine eyebrow hair, so sometimes it's hard for me to do this, but can you guys tell a difference? It's already looking way fuller. I love, love Precisely. Precisely is like my absolute favorite. And sometimes I like to go in with my foundation and clean up the bottom of that. So I'm gonna go with my Armani, go back in with my Armani um, foundation and clean up the bottom of that. And in the brush set, there's like these little concealer brushes that I like to use. So I'm gonna show you like a lot of options. So there's like a skinny one, a medium one, and then this big one. I tend to go in with the medium one. It's a really nice thin concealer brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that, of, of the foundation and just clean up the bottom edge. Ooh, it looks so good, you guys. It's a very, very natural brow. Now to set all that into place, I'm gonna go in with the Gimme Brow by Benefit. And this is gonna set your hair into place, but it also has a really nice tint. So um, your it kind of gives your brow like an extra boost of color. Isn't this way different than the normal brow that I usually do in my tutorials? Let me know if you guys like this way more. I kind of like it. Now for the eye part, I'm just gonna keep it very, very simple. I'm just gonna take my blending brush from the set and I'm just going to go in with this Pure Cosmetics DreamWorks Trolls palette. I guess that's what it's called. I just got this in a PR package, so I haven't really played around with it. I'm gonna use this color right here called Wisdom, which is a really nice light beige. Wow, that's really, really, um, grabs a lot of product. I hope it's really pigmented. I haven't tried it yet. And I'm just going to, oh, that's so creamy. One thing that I do wish that this brush set has is a blending brush. I noticed that there is not really a lot of blending brushes in here. Um, that's the one thing that disappointed me about this brush set. There's this one, which is great for the crease, and then there's this one, which is more flexible for a blending brush. But I kind of need something a little bit more fluffier, if you guys know what I'm saying. Kind of something like this would be nice, something very fluffy so I can blend out um, eyeshadows. But I mean, other than that, I guess I'm okay with this brush set. I do wish there was a blending brush. And then I'm going to take that same brush and go in with this color right here called Fuzzy, which is a really nice brown. I love, love this color. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna pop that in like the crease area. These shades are super pigmented. I'm gonna take this brush again and blend it out. And then for lashes, since you guys know I don't have lashes, I would die for bottom lashes. Like, I don't know what that feels like to put on bottom eyelash mascara. Because I don't really have any. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't really have bottom lashes. And for my upper lashes today, I'll be using this um, cake face, I believe. No, it's... I'll be using these lashes right here. They are by... Um, Cake Face Beauty, and I believe these lashes are called um, Cake Face, right? I don't know, I'll link it down below. All the products will be linked down below. But I'm just gonna take my House of Lashes glue and coat these real quick and pop on some mascara. I like these lashes because they're super natural. As you can tell, my face is super soft today because it's just a very natural look. So I don't want anything on my face to be too over the top or obnoxious looking. I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm just gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash. This is the travel size that I use when I travel. You guys, this seriously routine is so easy. And if you have beautiful lashes already, you don't need to put on falsies. So you're pretty much done. They kind of look like um, eyelash extensions, right? Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, the set comes with like a lip pencil and I thought it was super cool that you can like pop this in your purse and stuff. I think I'm gonna go in with, um, Jouer Cosmetics has this lip product. It's called the Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. And it is the prettiest, like clear gloss in the world. I'm just gonna pop that on. You guys ever see me in a gloss and you're wondering what I'm wearing? It's usually this Jouer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in and spray my face with the NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Spray. I want it to be dewy today, cause again, I'm feeling a little bit dry and I kind of want that extra um, boost of hydration. 
Okay, friends, that is it for today's video. I hope you had a blast with me. Everything you need to know is listed down there below, including the brush set, so you definitely should get your hands on this. It's amazing. And all the other products that I use, and definitely make sure that you go and grab Wanderlush. It is now officially available worldwide on OfraCosmetics.com. I will also leave, leave all the discount codes down below and all the products that I use in this video, ways to contact me. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below. Um, let me know what's going on in your life. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all of my other social media networks. I will see you, I believe, on Monday with my weekly vlog. So I will see you then. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon. Oh, by the way, next week I am traveling. I will be in New York City and then I will be in Holland visiting Nikki. So things are going to be a little bit chaotic, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case you're wondering where is Kim. But that's why you should follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram where I am the most active when I'm not on YouTube. I will see you then. I love you so much. Bye, lovelies.